guys and welcome back to my channel uh so today's video is going to be about what was in my hospital bag i am currently five weeks postpartum and i really tried to get this video out before but a lot of things happened and then even more things happened after pregnancy which we'll get to uh in a different video but today is going to be about what i packed for my hospital bag this is baby number three for me she is so healthy she is so gorgeous and maybe she's sleeping right now but maybe if she wakes up before i get through with this video i'll be able to sneak her in a little bit but this is my third rodeo and so I've learned a few things prior and this time I only wanted to uh, go to the hospital with one bag. Um, before I would have a bag for me, I would have a bag for dad and then I would have a bag for baby. That was way too much stuff for me and I condensed it and I got this bag and let's just see so this is what i took and it had everything in there from my stuff to baby stuff to philip stuff so this is what we'll be talking about so this is a luggage bag and by the way everything that i talk about will be linked in the description box down low um as i i think this is coolie though so when you open it it has um it has three compartments i call it it has the back and then it has the front and then it has a slit um so let me just see if i can show you guys and it's really so it looks kind of like this and you just unzip this part and you pull it over. So on this side was me and baby stuff. And this side, as you can see, is still the diapers because I have yet to, I don't think I use those diapers, but we'll talk about that. And then on the back side is some more of my stuff and Philip's stuff. So we'll start there. So actually we won't, we'll start with the baby stuff. So I only condensed everything because you will not need as much stuff. Uh, the hospital should give you uh, the things that you need, but I only know this because this is my third baby. So I have, I knew what to pack and I knew what was unnecessary. So I did think the baby was gonna be much smaller. So I did pack a few preemie diapers because the hospital give out Pampers and I like Huggies best. So we had a couple preemie diapers and um, we had a couple newborns. Um, she wind up being my biggest baby. She weighed eight pounds, three ounces. So I did not need the preemies. For baby, um, her going home outfit was this little onesie and it's ruffled in the back. It's so soft and it is from Posh Peanut. And this was my first time ordering from them, but I really like the material. It's really, really soft. And um, a plus for me was that it zips from the top. It zips from the top and the bottom. So I just basically used the bottom when I needed to change her instead of just exposing the top. It was unnecessary. And then it came with um, a headband and a swaddle blanket um i'm gonna try and put a picture somewhere in the video of her in it but it fit her well she was my biggest baby she weighed eight pounds three ounces so when she did come out and we were able to go home she was able to fit this um and then i also had a couple of things that i knew that i would need just from previous pregnancies so we brought a few uh receiving blankets and then i got i brought birth cloths and then we just had two additional outfits some small some big and then this was one of them and i believe i got this from i don't know where i got this from um but i'll i think it, it was walmart i don't know or target so i got this 
and then the pants came with this and then i just brought a plain white onesie and pants she did not end up wearing any of this because the hospital gave her a onesie um and we used uh i believe we used pretty much what they had i just brought it just in case and then that was it for baby besides the diapers that um we brought i brought just a few of the preemies and the free a few of the newborns i did not wind up using the preemie diapers and then just a little hat for her if she got cold but again the hospital provided a hat even and then we also brought mittens and socks as well and that was it for baby and then i brought just one pacifier that she would use we didn't wind up using it it was actually still in the pack so we didn't even use it she rarely likes pacifiers anyway um and then for, as for mom as for me as for me i was i thought i was gonna lounge in this but nope i was in a gown the entire time it was it was easy and I actually kind of was like, oh, this is nice material. I can wear it when I'm home. Um, so I was in a gown the entire time. I did not use this. I actually didn't use any of the clothes that I bought. <laughs> and then this was something I wanted just to be comfortable, uh, which was a set. I think I got this from Walmart. And then that's the bottom. And the top was this we got this um which is a blanket a go home blanket because it was cold the day we had her it was snowing raining anything you can imagine and i believe i got this from walmart or target again i'll link everything down below but this was like a cozy plush blanket as for my going home outfit i just got plain black leggings and these are a size large and i'll link everything down below but i wanted to go home in something loose and not fit it in tight and then the shirt was basically i love oversized shirts i love them so this is what i got it was like a crop but it wasn't a crop top and it was very oversized so this is what i wore very comfortable and then socks and then as for the nursing bras um these are the best nursing bras that i have bought um i'll link it down below it was from amazon but ugh, i love these bras i think the baby is crying and then as for underwear i ordered these on amazon it was a high-waisted I love it, love it, love it. And I also, as for me, I also invested in this. Um, I also took these. These are incontinent briefs. Um, you can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Target. But um, I got these in a size large. And, oh my God, Th these... You have to invest in these if you go. The doctor office give you little thin ones. Let me see if I can find one. So this is what the doctors give you. And um, as you can see, I open. I haven't even used it because it was no point. Uh, they were super thin. This is how it looks. <laughs> and they give you two. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry. But they're super thin. Oh, crap. I dropped it. They are super thin and they would normally give you a pad to put in there. I brought my own stuff because I'm very particular about that. So these ones, I highly recommend that you get if you are having a baby. I'm coming, mama. And then in the middle, you um, have a pad here, but I just put a pad over it, whatever you choose to use. Or you can just wear it like that, but I didn't. I want it to be secured. One second, baby's crying.
And then as for my toilet tree bag, um, I did get this off of Amazon and I'll just tell you what was all in it. So I had deodorant, body wash, and you can get this at Target or Walmart in there. I call it like their travel section, their travel size section. And then I brought a facial brush. And then, of course, I brought two brushes, one for me, one for Philip. And then I bought soap. Soap and body wash. Just brought both. Philip prefers soap. I prefer body wash. And then lotion is what was in here. And then I bought what what are these? Flushable wipes. Flushable wipes and makeup wipes. And I also bought this um, Earth Mama Nipple Butter. I did not wind up using it because the doctor or the hospital gave me nipple cream and it worked just fine. I initially bought this one because you didn't need to wipe off after um, or before breastfeeding the baby. But the hospital had this, not the same one, but they had a, um, I think they had the... Oh God, a different one. I'll have to look for it. Uh, but you didn't have to wipe that one off either before breastfeeding. And she was definitely breastfeeding the entire time we were in the hospital and my boobs were hurting. So that came in handy, but I had mine just in case. And then that was all that was in this middle part. And then on this zipper, um... I had lip gloss, more, <laughs> I had lip gloss, more chapstick. This is actually my favorite one, the Bliss Sticks, the Soft and Lush. And then I had a couple of ponytail holders. And that was all that was in my toilet tree bag. And I brought this. And I didn't wind up using it. <laughs> but I do love it uh, to have, especially for when I came home. I did clean this, you guys. Um, but I, it comes in a little packet like this. Oh, zoom it out. And it's from... Oh God, I can't. Okay, but um, this is a Perry bottle. The hospital just give you like a regular squirt bottle, and I didn't like that one. I liked this one because it actually is pointed up, and you squeeze. Um, I did use this at home, and I love it. And then, as for Philip, we just kept it very, very simple. Um, he had his underwear, and then socks, of course, and then. Uh, just like really comfortable sweats. So shirts like this, again, I'll link everything down below. And uh, sweat pants that he wore. And then in the zipper part of the front, um, I did have snacks in there, uh, which, yeah, you can put your snacks. And then you would also, I also kept my phone charger in there. So guys, that was all that was in my bag for baby number three. You really do not need much. You do not need to go to the hospital with three and four bags. Um, try and condense it. If you think you may need it, put it in. But it was just, I've been down this road and you do not need a lot of stuff. It's just too much to even worry about. So if you can condense it, condense it. Um, the hospital, depending on where you are, should give you everything you need. When we left, they gave us a pack of wipes, pack of diapers. Uh, they also provide that to you while you're in the hospital for your stay. Um, but if you prefer something else, I know some people prefer cloth diapers. I know some people prefer other brands. Um, so that type of stuff I would say bring. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to feed my little 
princess. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the description box. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. This is um, definitely one of the happiest times for me to finally, finally, finally get this video out and to have my princess. So guys, thank you so much. And until next time, bye.